We're going to be covering how to set an automated email to be sent out on a specific date. So using the, da the data from a spreadsheet, we're checking to see if the particular date has passed. And if it does, then we're going to select the user's email and send them a custom email reminder that's going to show up within their inbox and with a customized message. And this is all going to be done with app script and then also how you can set up a trigger, manually set up a trigger within the script editor and then customize the trigger to be time-based and select the function that you want to run for the trigger. It's all coming up in this lesson. This example, we're going to set an email reminder to send an email on a specific date. So we need to get some information from the contents of a spreadsheet. Within the spreadsheet, I've got a name, an email address, an ID, and then we're going to set the date that we want to send the emails on and this date. So let's set up a date and can set it out this current date and then we can add in the additional dates as well. So what we want to do is we want to select the contents from the sheet and check the date. And if it's the current date, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to send an email to that date. So going and creating a function and I'll just call it sender email. And this is going to be selecting the sheet object. So using the spreadsheet app service, we want to get the active spreadsheet and that's going to be the one that's bound to this current script. And then we want to select the sheet. So select sheet by name. And then whatever we have for the sheet that we want to use, and in this case, it's called users. So it's right there in the bottom of the tabs there. So it's going to select the sheet object that we want to use. And then we want to get the data. So that's coming from the sheet object. And then getting the data range. We'll select the range of data that we want to use. And in order to get the values, and this is going to return it back within an array. So we can check our output within the logger log. And we're going to see what we've got for data, just to make sure that we are getting some data in there. So run the code and there's our data from the spreadsheet. And so we want to loop through the contents of the rows or users. And we can use a data slice to slice out only the user information that we want. So it's going to remove out that first row of data. So run that again and make sure that we don't have any of the first row of data. So because we want to be focusing on the current data. So let's get the current date and select the by using the new date. So using the date format, just as we would within JavaScript. And that's going to select our current date. And so we want to loop through the users using for each. And this is going to return back the user as an array of data for each one of the items within the columns. So setting up and we're going to select the date that we want to use. And this is coming from a new date object. And here we want to select the user information. And which column is this in? So this is going to be based on the index value of the column. So we've got 0, 1, 2, 3. And as we know, arrays are zero based. So we're looking at the data from column number three. And then we can also log that out just to be sure. So within the log user, and we get call data from column number three. And I'll comment this out. And let's uh, run the code and see what we've got. So we've got all of those date values there. So now, once we want to select and check to see if uh, the time is of the current date. So we want to make sure and do a comparison of today's date as opposed to the date within the sheet. And doing that where we're rounding the content and selecting the date minus the value that we have for today. So that will give us whatever the current time is. And then let's uh, divide by 1000 milliseconds, 60 seconds, 60 minutes, and 24 hours. So let's output the value that we get for the difference. 
uh, run the code. So we only have one that's in a negative, the other six are in a positive, because one we have of the current date that's passed. So that means that we want to send the email for this date. And then we're also gonna update this to be sent. So we know that there's content that's been sent. So right now, if there's no data in there, then we're gonna try to send it. So as we loop through each one of those, we'll check to see if user, and this could be column number five, so index value number four, is not equal to just a blank value, then we'll go through and we'll put out the difference else and then else we can just write within the logger the contents that we have within that particular column row and so right now as we loop through so nothing has changed but let's uh, add in a value of sent in there and then we'll run through it again so what it did is it's actually going to be setting and getting that value and it's only returning it back if the is not equal to blank so if it is equal to blank, then we want to send it. Otherwise, we want to skip it. So there's our sent value. So it's getting the value that we have there of sent. So that's another way that we can make sure that we're not going to be sending emails if it's already sent. So selecting that item, getting the range, and so on. So let's select the index value as well. So we've got the index value of the item. So that way we can select the range and then use that as a row value to make an update to the content within the cell. So let's output some values as we're looping through. And the range is gonna be the new cell, or we'll just call it last cell. So this means that there's nothing within the last cell. Uh, so we wanna populate some data within that last cell. So select the value, and the way that we can populate it is using the sheet and then we want to use the range. So let's uh, go ahead and set the range. So within the sheet, get range. And so the range is gonna use a row and a column number that we want to do. And so the row is gonna be indicated within the index value. And then the column is gonna indicate the value that we want to use within the column. So this one we're using column number five to set that. So using the sheet range, and we want to set a value for it. And for now, we'll just output the value that we've got for the index. And because uses an array, it's gonna be starting out with a value of zero. And in order to select a row, we need to add one to it. And because we're actually starting at row number two, we need to add two to it instead of just a one to it. And we also don't need to define the sheet object again. So we can just use the range set value. So we're not gonna be having any callback on that function. So let's try it out. And there's the values. And now if we go into, we see that those columns are gonna be sending the index values of those items. So everything looks pretty good where we're able to populate content into the range. So now we can continue with the script where once we're gonna send the email, then we can output that value. So let's take a look and we'll have a condition and check to see if the difference is less than zero. So that means that the time has passed and we wanna send the email. So where we're sending the email to, and that's gonna be user. And again, going back to the sheet data. So we're selecting from the index value of one. So that's gonna be the second item there and that's gonna be returned back as the email. Let's uh, create a subject. So the subject can be passed or whatever we wanna have within the subject of the email. And then let's uh, create some body for the email. A reminder. And that's gonna be pretty good there. And now we're ready to send the email. So using the mail app service, send email and then uh, enter in the parameters so the email, the subject, and the body of the contents that we want to send. And then here, once we've sent this, so we don't send a second email, we're gonna populate this, and here we can just have a value of sent, and we can even put the value of today 
as well for that today. So that's going to be getting whatever the current date is and whenever we've sent it, or we can just put it, populate it with the value of today. So let's run the code and we know that we've only got one that's a past date and the other ones are future dates. So what we do is we're going to set up a trigger on this and then have this code run on a specific time period. So every day it'll run and check to see if there's any reminders that need to be sent. So we'll run the code manually and there it's sent it and it's not going to send again because it's already got some content there within the sent column. So that way you can be sure that it's not going to be sending a second time. And then once you want to automate this script, you can go to the triggers, which is in the left hand side within the app script script editor, select the add a trigger, select the function that you want to use on the trigger, and then the event source. So this can be a time driven source. And then you can set it to run daily, so the day timer, and every day at midnight, and that's when it's going to send the notifications out. You can also notify immediately if there's any kind of errors, or you can set these as needed. So what this will do is this is going to set up a trigger that's going to run on a time-based trigger, and it will automatically check the spreadsheet and check to see if any of these dates are passed, and if they are passed, then they'll send out an email to the user.